Okay, so this will be the solution to question number five from the sample IB exam, paper one. So here we have to find the equation of the straight line that grows through the point four comma three and is perpendicular to the line y equals two x plus 11. And we're gonna give the answer in the form y equals mx plus c, or slope intercept form. So you don't need a picture for this one, but I'm gonna make one anyway. So let's uh, say that this is the x-coordinate of 4. Let's go up. This is the y-coordinate of 3. So there's our point that we want our new line to go through. Now our other line, y equals 2x plus 1. Excuse me, 2x plus 11. So recall this is slope-intercept. So the coefficient in front of the x, that represents our slope. And the other value over here, that's going to be the y-intercept. So I've got a point up here. We'll say that that's uh, the y-coordinate of 11. I think I counted correctly there. And then it's got a slope of 2. So we would go um, up 2 and over 1. So there's uh, so if we go up 1, 2 and over 1 unit, so roughly there's another point. And we could always calculate that exactly. But again, it doesn't matter. So OK, we want the line that goes through this point and again, it's perpendicular to this other line, so I think that looks roughly perpendicular, right? So recall, again, perpendicular just means it's crossing at a right angle, 90 degree angle. So if you know the slope of one line, which we do, recall to get the opposite slope, you take the opposite reciprocal. So you could think about the slope of our, our given line. I'm going to write that as 2 over 1. So what we do is we flip those. So I'm going to use 1 half. So that's the reciprocal. And then we take the opposite sign. So we've got a, a positive 2. I'm going to use a negative 1 half. So I know the slope of this new line is going to equal negative 1 half. And again, we've got a point that the line goes through, 4 comma 3. So now we can use point slope form. So recall that that's y minus y sub 1 equals m x minus x sub 1. And that's if it goes through the point x1 comma y1 with a slope of m. So we know our y-coordinate. Our y-coordinate was equal to 3. So that's going to be our y sub 1 value. So y minus 3. We've got our new slope. We just said that it's going to be negative 1 half. And now we also know our x sub 1. That's our x-coordinate, which is going to be 4. So now it's simply a matter of just expanding this out and simplifying. So I'm going to pull this down here just to give myself a little extra space. Let me put it over here. So I would have y minus 3. Now if I distribute, we'll have negative 1 half x. Um, negative 1 half multiplied by negative 4. Well, a negative and a negative is going to be a positive. And then it's the same thing as having 4 divided by 2, which is going to be 2. And now we can simply add 3 to both sides. So we'll add 3 to both sides. And then we're just left with y equals negative 1 half x plus 5. And that's going to be our, our solution. And that seems reasonable. OK, so again, my picture is way off here because, right, clearly this is not going through the, uh, the y-coordinate of, of 5. But OK, so again, I set a rough sketch, and this was definitely very sloppy. So, okay, so my graph, okay, I'll even label here in a second. Very rough graph, but again, that's all there is to it. All you really need to know in this point, you just need to remember point-slope form. And you just need to remember how to get the, uh, the perpendicular slope. Again, just by taking the opposite reciprocal. All right, I hope that made sense, and uh, yeah, not too bad.